Asatoma Sat Gamaya Tamasoma Jotir Gamaya Mrityorma Mritan Gamaya Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday dear Watcher Happy birthday to you so, welcome. Today we are going to talk about uh, what is your birthday date according to Jyotish. Okay? We are going to be with some sounds in the surround system. Don't worry. It's going to be fine. See you. Hello, hello. So, today I'm a little bit in a hurry. So some things here are written in Portuguese, if you don't mind, I'm going to translate them. Um, today we are going to talk about how to find the date that is going to be your birthday according to Jyotish. Okay? In Jyotish we have the Panchanga system that means five Pancha limbs. The first limb is the day that you're born. It can be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. These days of the week are decided according to a very uh, ancient method of uh, deciding which is the uh, cosmic energy that is more present during that day. In this way, if today it's Wednesday and not Thursday, there is meaning on this. This is not only a kind of human convention in this way of thinking. <laughs> okay. So the first is Varana. The first is about the day of the week and the uh, Graha that is ruling this day of the week. The second aspect is the Nakshatra. is the place in each of the 27 lunar mansions where Chandra is located. It's the different um, colors of uh, mind and of uh, prana. So varana is mainly related to the fire element. Uh, nakshatra is mainly related to the wind element. I'm not saying here agni, vayu, and this kind of stuff. We are going to say this mainly in English because it's not the point now. Uh, another kind of uh, conceptualization is Titi. Titi, they are, uh, it's the uh, distance, the mathematical distance from the sun to the moon. So we have 30 uh, different slots where we can have these uh, specific points. Each slot uh, is regular, it's 12 degrees, 12 times 30 equals 360 degrees. And these are the different 30 types of lunar days that are important to understand what is your um, proper birthday uh, date uh, energy in Jyotish. If we divide each titi in two parts, we are going to have one karana. Uh, each uh, six degree part is one karana. And it's related to the earth element, uh, and it's more related to our financial systems. We are not going to go deep into Panchanga now. And the fifth element is the uh, combination yoga from the sun to the moon. It's a kind of uh, Akashic element to know how people relate in a more broader sense. The Panchanga system is a very um, powerful system to understand life, as much as Rashi is, as much as everything. A lot of things can be said about a person, only knowing about what is the uh, day that she and the person was born, and where is the Lord of the uh, day in the, in which Rashi and which house it's in. Mainly related to Agni, fire element. 
a lot can be said about the longevity and health and other stuff about the mind of the person according to which nakshatra the moon was it a lot of the emotions and the watery element and the relationships can be said about uh, from the titi a lot of uh, material earth could be considerations can be said about uh, from the karana and uh, a lot of uh, akashic space spirituality and uh, social relations uh, can be said about from the yoga of the person in the software that you use it should be said which are each of these five things in your birth time but if they are not said all of them the titi and the nakshatra must be there because without this there is a lot of uh, information that you're not going to be able to uh, know your um, lunar sign that it's in Jyotish is your main sign and also your birthday date so let's go again to the happy birthday project in Jyotish uh, we have this um, not correction of the time uh, and the sun nowadays is entering in Aries around the 15th of April not on the 21 of uh, March and this is and this difference is mainly related to what is called the uh, equinox precision and uh, it's one thing that we humans uh, put another days in the counting or don't put another days in the counting so that the difference in just like half a day in one year and all these uh, rests of mathematical uh, difference that there are according to the 365 days that we count all these make some difference in large countings of time and in Jyotish we only look to the stars and see oh the sun is entering in Aries uh, Mesharashi at 15 of April. This entry means when it's going, uh, when it's rising. Okay, so you can have 12 solar signs for your birthday time. Okay, if it's from 15 uh, April to 14 May, probably it's going to be Mesha Aries, and then it's going to be counting 30 days. Uh, more or less and it's going to be going to Taurus, Gemini, Cancer and so on I'm not going to put them all here because there is no, no point here in doing so so we are going to suppose now that the person that we are talking about was born in Mesharasha the area sign it is uh, from like one century it is uh, in the uh, middle of April to middle of May, okay? So, during this period, there's going to be 30 different lunar days that are going to be existing. There is the new moon, Amavasya, uh, and uh, it's going to be 14 days going upwards. Oh, I was talking in Portuguese. And then in South uh, Hemisphere, we look the moon differently. <laughs> so, in the Northern Hemisphere, if you're speaking English, probably you're going to see this in a different perspective. Okay? So, Shukla, Shukla Paksha is going to be when the moon is uh, waxing. And uh, we are going to see this from this point of view. <laughs> this correction is important. So in the North Hemisphere, we look to the moon waxing like a letter D, okay? Uh, in the South, it looks like the letter C. But it, for now, it doesn't matter. It's just like a geographical point of view. If you look from upwards or downwards, the sign is going to be different. If you don't understand this, just like twist your neck a little bit and you're going to understand. So. The first four, the 14 days after um, the Amavasya, 
is the time that the moon is waxing, and then we have Purnima, full moon. Okay? So this makes 15 days. And then the following 14 days, the moon is going to be waning. And then we're going to have one day more, it's going to be the new moon day. And uh, if we sum up 14 plus 1, 14 plus 1, it's going to be 30 days. This is the time that we have uh, in one solar month. We are going to have 30 types of lunar coordinations, marks. Just like when we put uh, geographical uh, uh, GPS, we are going to have north-south degrees, and we are going to have east-west degrees, right? So in Jyotish, the north and uh, south doesn't matter. The latitude is going to be one, you can say that it's the sun, and the longitude is going to be another, you can say that it's the moon, doesn't matter, it's just an analogy, okay? So, during this period, every year, things change. You can say that the first solar day of Aries in 2017, it can be, just let us simplify a little bit of this, if you put 1 to 30, in one year the first day can be the number 18, and the other year it can be the 12, and the other day it can be the 30th. It's not going to be more than 30, it's going to be from 1 to 30, okay? So the day that you are born, there is one solar Rashi, one solar sign that is supposed to be your sun sign, and also there is a lunar energy, a lunar pattern that is going to be your lunar day. So your birthday, according to Jyotish, it's one solar day with the other coordinates of the lunar day. Okay? So in this sense, if suppose that you are born in Mesharashi, Airy sign, in the ninth of the 30 days that it has. This can be just like, uh, suppose that this was uh, 22 April uh, 1984, okay? Suppose that this is your birthday date. In this birthday date, it's this within Mesharashi, and uh, suppose that it has this specific Titi, Navami, and it's going to be uh, Shukla Paksha, because we suppose that from the Amavasha, that is the new moon, to the full moon, it's going to be uh, expanding, it's going to be going to be more materialistic, it's going to be Shukla, and uh, after Purima, full moon day, that is the number 15, it's going to be waning, it's going to be losing uh, brightness, okay? So, suppose that this combination, that is Mesharashi with Navami um, Shukla Pacha, it, it, it will occur this day in 1984, 1984, right. In 2018, this is going to be somewhere in the period from 15th of April up to probably 15th of May. Anywhere inside this period that we still have Navami, Shukla, Paksha, this is going to be your birthday date during this period. So realize that this can vary a lot, just like 30 days, right? It's not going to be more than that, because if it's more than that, it's going to be another sun sign, and you have to be in the same sun sign, you have to be in the same latitude, and you have to be in the same lunar day, you have to be in the same longitude. But during one year, the Earth, <laughs> you can imagine, change the continents 
And the same latitude can bring different place. Different place here is the date in the calendar that is going to be implying this combination. Okay? Are you alive up to here? Are you fine? Are you getting a little bit messy? Are you getting a little bit drowsy? Okay. If everything is just like blur in your mind, don't worry. It may be the lens. If it's not, okay, let's continue. One point that is important is that the TT of the day, it's measured in the moment that the sun is rising. So here is the sun, this. And when it's centered, it's aligned with the horizon, we say in Jyotish that we have a new day. In this moment, when the sun disk is aligned with the horizon, if it's centered, we are going to have one specific TT day. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 25, 30, doesn't matter, right? In the next day, it's going to be another TT. But please pay attention. It might be, this doesn't occur every time, it might be that during this day, since each TT is a mathematical analysis of 12 degrees, you can say that this time here, it was just like 11 degrees of one TT. You can say that is the number five of this period. We are recording this video today. It's 14 uh, June 2017. If I'm not wrong, we are on Panchami, that is the number fifth, uh, fifth Krishna Paksha. This means that we are five days after the full moon. We are around here. So, suppose, I'm not saying that this is actually true for tomorrow, but if this occurs, then it's important for you to know that this happens. Suppose that in your panchanga, in your software, you see that today is panchanga. Okay? And suppose that in the next day, it happens to be number seven, not number six. And you say, oh, look. It's supposed to have 30 days. And here one is missing. What is happening? The point is that this uh, TT is not actually missing. The point is that from day 14 to day 15, maybe when this occurs, it's just like that in the uh, rising moment of the day one, it's in the end of one TT. And during the day, another TT occurs and the, uh, the moon is just like moving fast. And it moves more than 12 degrees. And in the other day, it's just like, here it was in the 11th of this TT, and here it's just like in the uh, TT, uh, the first degree. In 24 hours, it passed one whole TT, 12 degrees. This doesn't mean that this TT the number uh, here, it has to be number 5 according to our example, and here has to be number 7 according to our example. This doesn't mean that the number 6 didn't, didn't exist. It was not only um, just like um, put on the schedule, because the schedule, as a rule, puts the TT of the day when the sun is rising. So suppose that according to our example, the Navami uh, Shukla Paksha was here. That is your birthday date. What is going to happen? You are not going to have birthday that day. Here is Ashtami Shukla Paksha. This is Navami Shukla Paksha. This is Dashami Shukla Paksha. Suppose that your birthday is here and it's not uh, with any sun rising, putting them in the calendar. The day that you're going to be doing, you're going to be having birthday, it's a day without being noticed in the panchanga, in the calendar, but it still exists, <laughs> don't worry. You're not going to be one year less. <laughs> Maybe some people would like <laughs> that this counting would not be taken 
as one day, one year more, but still we are going to be one year old more, okay? So, it, it, we are going to consider the TT between the two TTs that are appearing in the pachanga, right? So, for now, this is the information about your birthday date according to Jyotish. And uh, this explains a lot on how um, specific religious dates are uh, scheduled in India because they are related to the uh, solar Rashi, solar sign, and the lunar day according to this relation of 12 degrees distance from the sun to the moon. Right? So, uh, nice to see you again. Uh, soon we are going to talk about nakshatras again. Uh, previously we were recording just like 60 videos in Portuguese about nakshatras uh, and all the stuff. If you, talk, if you speak Portuguese and you want to help translate them, please contact me. Um, but uh, now we are going to go back to nakshatras and uh, start to talk about some concepts related to this. Okay? Nice to see you again. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Namaste.